we're going to be doing a mystery tackle box slam challenge. I got one on the spinner bait. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Easily a two pounder. Got him. I got him. What is up ladies, gentlemen, and Fritcher and YouTube and welcome back to another exciting episode of the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a mystery tackle box slam challenge. This is the box number 149. Now mystery tackle box, if you guys are not familiar with mystery tackle box, it's basically a monthly subscription box that gets sent to your door every single month. It has soft plastics, soft baits, it can have hard baits in it, jerk baits, crank baits, you name it, and also terminal tackle. And it gets sent to your door every single month. So it's actually a subscription based company. They just send baits to you every single month. It comes normally with four or five lures. Now I am not sponsored by these guys in any way, shape or form. I just like their company a lot and I like doing slam challenges and, and catching fish on their baits because you just never know what you're gonna find. It's a good opportunity for a lot of anglers to try baits that they've never used before and try to catch fish on them. So I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what we got. Alrighty guys, so let's open this up and see what we got inside. So we got a sticker from Catchco, which says tree pounder. <laughs> that's kind of funny because I actually, I've caught trees like that and I always say that. So that's awesome. Some dibbles, tips and tricks, basically just a guide, you know, like the story of Carl, how to bass fish on the cheap, like just, you know, tips and tricks for beginner anglers and stuff like that, which is pretty nice. So here we get into the baits. So our first bait is a Kylan's tick, Tickler series, Sunny Tickle Tail. It's a 3.8 inch. I guess it's like a, a swim baited, a swim bait with like many appendages that flow through the water. That's pretty cool. We have some 3 yacht EWG worm hooks from Stickies. These are the EWG, so the extra wide gap hooks, three aughts. Those are nice. I'm probably gonna pair those with something, I'm assuming. We have the Guggen Squad Zinger Spinner Bait in bluegill color. It looks like it's a 3 8 ounce with a Colorado blade, which is nice. We might be able to pair that up with the tickler and see if we can catch a fish on that. And then also we have a Fish Hoy Lures. I guess it's like a coffee style. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a coffee style and blue flake type, I guess, worm with a little like flapper tail on the back of it. We can see if we can catch some fish on that. We might be able to pair that up with this and then that'll be our second bait if we can get that out of the way. And then also we have a Strike Pro. Looks like bluegill and gold style um, crankbait maybe, or like a shallow diving crankbait. We can see if we can get this out of the way too. It's a Cranky XSS 75F Strike Pro tournament grade. So I guess it goes on into the, the top of the water and swims around. So that's pretty cool. We can see if we can knock that out. So those are three baits that we can do and hopefully we'll be able to get this challenge and complete it. That'd be awesome. Oh, there's one right there. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna be starting off with the zinger. We're gonna see if one will be able to hit this. Hopefully anyway. Looks like they want it. Cause there's a couple of fish that are literally right here. I got one on the spinner bait. Come on up. Yes, nice. There we go. 
one checked off the bucket list. Nice little healthy one pound fish popped right out. Let's go. Nice healthy little fat one too. Probably a post spawn, but still. Nonetheless, good solid fish. About a pound, choked that thing. Let's go. That's one out of the way. We got two more to go. We're gonna release him. We'll get a picture and we'll release him. Thank you so much, buddy, for biting the spinner bait. Get back and join your friends. Very feisty one. Thank you. So guys, that's one off the spinner bait. Check that one off the list. We still have that coffee one and we still have that other swim bait that we gotta do too. So that we'll check off the list. But that is two baits off the list, the tickle tail, the appendages, and the 3 8 ounce bluegill zinger. So we'll put this one down and we'll try to see if we can get one on the Texas rig. And then I'll switch over to that Strike Pro and see if I can get one on that crank to complete the challenge. Let's go. All right, there we go. Coffee worm is out and hopefully we'll be able to get a bass on this. Oh, there's two big ones right here. There's two big ones right here. Oh my God, they're like three pounders. Oh my God, guys. There are three pounders right here, literally right on the bank. This is gonna be crazy if I hook into one of these. If I hook into one of these fish, it's gonna be freaking huge. These guys are huge. Those are probably the two post spawn ones that I saw weeks back. Oh my goodness, these guys are huge. I'm gonna catch one of them. Got one. Got him. Let's go! Let's go, boys! Let's go! Easily a two pounder. Yes! Easily a two pound fish. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right, I'm gonna get a weight on there for you guys. Alrighty guys, so I got a scale here. We're gonna weigh this little girl. She's probably easily two pounds at least, but we're gonna try it out and we're gonna see. I would say she's at least two pounds. All right, here we go. Two pounds, two ounces. Right there, or two pounds, three ounces. Let's go, two pound fish. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby, for biting. I knew you were a two pounder at least. So go ahead, get back, get healthy. Thank you, go ahead. Whenever you're ready, big girl. Whenever you're ready. There she goes. Let's go. There she goes right back. Let's go, guys. That is two baits out of the way. She choked that. She They choked the tickle tail. And then these fish honey or fish oil lures these worms produced. So all that's left is we have this Strike Pro that I gotta hook up and I'm gonna bring the scale with me now so I don't have to walk across the lake for it. But there's another one that's over there and I'm almost positive that one's close to a three pounder and this rattler is gonna get him. Guys, I can't express to you how happy I am right now. Another two pound fish at a new lake or a new little pond that I went to. I've only fished this once before for 15 minutes. And already within 15 minutes of being here, we already have landed two fish, one being over a pound. 
then the other one being just over two pounds and three ounces so that is absolutely awesome i got my camera with me and i got this other one rigged up this strike pro and we're gonna see if we can catch this big three pounder i know he's three pounds i have my weight scale as well and we're going to get this fish i just know it but that was that was crazy he just basically was right over there i flipped over and he absolutely obliterated it hooked him up and ready to go ready to rock and roll and he's right here so we're going to see if we can get this and then if i can get him then we can um if i can get this guy hooked up then we can put him on a scale for you guys and I'm almost positive that he's gonna eat. He's going to eat this. Looks like it's a shallow diver, so we might be able to get him. The shallow diver is gonna be the hardest one. I just know it. Oh, we got one on the shallow diver. Are you kidding? Is this a tiny one? I don't know what this is. What did we snag? <laughs> we snagged a small one, but guess what? We completed the challenge with a snag. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I want to end it off like that, but that is crazy. But third fish of the day goes on the Strike Pro, the mini, and he ended up getting snagged on it. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to snag you. So here, go back. I'm trying to go for Big Bertha over here. But three fish in like 20 minutes, I cannot complain. We already completed the challenge. That is awesome. Within 15 minutes or 20 minutes of being here, and I've already completed the challenge with the three lures. That's awesome. I cannot argue with those numbers at all. You guys should leave a like just for that because of how fast I was able to complete this. And really, I'm not doing much. I'm just, you know, using baits right now that I know that they're going to be up shallow. They're going to be around, you know, the bank area because it's summertime. So when the summertime heats up, they're basically going to be, you know, up shallow. And that's really all that I'm targeting right now. And it's, I'm glad that Mystery Tackle Box was able to hook me up with the lures that I needed for this exact time where they're more opt to bite these shallow diving baits. So I cannot complain with that. I am super duper happy. Thank you guys so much over at Carl's Bait and Tackle for everything you do. And you know, thank you, you know, your, fi your, your baits catch big fish. I cannot lie. So thank you guys for that. And thank you guys all for watching this, you know, this video. I appreciate every single one of you that tune into my videos every single week. And, you know, just a little bit of some gear, some gear suggestions that I'm using here. I'm using my custom or my Team Lose custom black speed stick. This one is a 7.3 power, uh, medium heavy fast action. I wanted something a little bit longer so that I can cast out. And this is more of a cranking style bait uh, caster and also a smaller bait as well. You know, a uh, good size bait caster for 240 bucks but I got it at a deal and it's a great, great, great style bait caster. I cannot complain with it. And then for the other one, I was using my, uh, I think it's my six foot Shakespeare ugly stick light, I think it is. And that's a six foot medium heavy. And I think it's a moderate action. And that is spooled up with 10 pound, P-Line fluorocarbon. This one is 17 pound Berkeley Vision. If I remember correctly, I think this one's Berkeley Vision line or Vanish, I'm sorry, Berkeley Vanish line. And this is a gear ratio of, I think it's six, five to one, or maybe it's uh, seven, five to one. This is a seven, five to one, seven, five to one gear ratio. And my other one was a Shakespeare ugly stick light, moderate, uh, medium heavy, medium heavy, moderate action. 
and yeah, absolutely crazy. And that's spooled up with 10 pound P-line fluorocarbon, which I, I love P-line so much. The fluorocarbon that they use is really good. Fish can't see it as well. And yeah, I mean, you know, I had that rigged up on that Texas rig. That guy choked, that two pounder choked it. I'm gonna, might actually switch back since we actually completed the challenge. I kind of want to fish with that coffee style again and see if I can get this three pounder. Cause I know that he was eyeballing it before and it doesn't look like he's going to eat this. But I mean, we ended up catching the third one on this. So I'm gonna switch back to that coffee, which is right over here. I'm gonna see if I can get this guy and then I can get you guys on the camera to show you how big he is. Got him. I got him. I got him, guys. He's a feisty big one. Oh my God. There's another one. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's get this out. Let's get this out of them. I'm gonna get you guys on the big camera with him. I'd say easily a two pounder, guys. Easily a two pounder. Looks like 114 on the dot right there. Awesome. That other one's gotta be at least a three. But we'll go ahead and get the camera on for this guy. He's a big boy. We'll go ahead and get a camera thing for you. There she is. Big old two pound Bertha. Big fish right here. You know, I saw her come out on the side over here and she basically obliterated the worm. Wacky rigged. It just twitched it a little bit and she ended up smoking it. but. That's the second big fish of the day. One pound, you know, 14 ounce, so just about two pounds on the Texas rigged worm. So that's good stuff. This challenge just keeps on getting better and better. We already completed it and we ended off with another two pounder. I'm gonna see if I can get this other three pounder. And then after that, I think that might as well do it. But awesome fish, great stuff. Let's go. Alrighty, Big Bertha. Thank you so much. We're gonna give you a good send off the send off that you deserve. Thank you for biting the worm. Absolutely came up and smoked it. So we're gonna come over on this side and we're gonna release her. Thank you so much, big girl. Go ahead and get bigger. Thank you so much. Fourth fish guys, and Big Bertha's right here too. The three pounder is right here. So we're gonna see if we can do that again with the worm and we're having one heck of a day. We're having fun with this challenge. I'm having fun at least. I hope you guys are too. And you know, just hit the like button guys. It takes literally two seconds. It means the world to me. It lets me know that you wanna see more challenges like this. And this challenge couldn't have gone any better. And a huge shout out to Carl's Bait and Tackle for providing baits like this and opportunities for awesome companies to come out and throw baits on the market over for them, for us anglers to test them. And they are working. Like I've never heard of this brand this uh, Fish Osh brand, and it's already caught me. A two pound, three ounce fish, and a one pound, 14 ounce. So almost five pounds already, and I don't even know what worm I'm using, so. But I'm not complaining, that's awesome. Let's get more. He might, just might. Caught a little small one on the bluegill, baby bullgill. Thank you, bud.
the end of the video for today you guys thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through i truly appreciate it like i said you guys every time you guys are the main reason why i do this and without your guys support making these videos that probably my dreams wouldn't be possible so um we, overview a little bit of an overview we caught five fish in total we caught two on that tickler worm one being two pounds three ounces and the other one being one pound 14 ounces which i would really round up to a two pounder so two two pounders on that tickle worm that fish uh, fish hoist tickle worm and then we also caught that one on the spinner bait that pounder on that bluegill spinner bait with the uh the tickle worm or the tickle swim bait on that the sunny swim bait and then we were also able to catch a fish on that strike pro even though we did snag it we still completed the challenge i would say you know i would count it just in case because it the other, one side was in his lip the other side was in the side so i would count that as a catch and then i also complete after i completed the challenge i threw another one and uh i was using a baby bull gill or a baby bull yeah the baby bull gill which actually i was sent by mr jackson i won a giveaway about a month ago and he sent it over to me so i was able to get my first fish on that so Mr. Jackson, your bait that you sent me actually worked, and that's awesome. As far as the mystery tackle box goes, I'm actually going to be giving this away to one of you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys to leave this video a like, comment down below your favorite bait that I was able to catch a fish on today that you liked inside of the mystery tackle box, and make sure to subscribe down below and turn the post bell notification on to be notified of when I post future videos. And in a week, and next, uh, next week's upload, I will be giving this away to one of you folks. I will be picking a random person, and then the following week, at, on the following video, I'm going to be tagging the winner, and then you will have about a week to get back to me, and then if you don't get back to me, then I will give another person a chance. But, you know, make sure to follow, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, post bell notifications to be en entered into the giveaway, and Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next fishing adventure. Go get them.